let me show you a deal that has an agency plan that's perfect to implement with your team members or make money with it. It has workspaces, team members, managers, and everything that you need to make money with it. It's called Sync Signature, and it lets you create signatures either for your own business or for reselling. So let's go check it out right now. So what's the big deal with Sync Signature? What's it set apart from other email signature systems out there? Well, the difference is the agency plan. It enables you to have workspaces, team members, managers, bulk changes. And one of my favorite features is that you can create email signatures and change, for example, the banners for all of them automatically. So that means that if you have 100 employees with signatures, well, you can change the banner for promotions, branding purposes, and you can do that super easily with this system. So let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? So this is my dashboard, and this is Sync Signature. First thing I wanna show you is Workspaces. So in Workspaces, we're able to separate brands, companies, sections, etc. and it depends how we want to divide our workspaces. For example, if you plan to resell email signatures, you maybe want to create companies based on the workspaces. And why is this such a big deal? Because in a workspace, we can have independent team members for that particular workspace, and we can also have managers for that workspace, which I'll show you in a bit how that works, okay? But give this an example. Workspace names, I, I'm gonna say company C, here we go, and signature limits. They're able to create 10 signatures, all right? Do we want to enable workspace analytics? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and continue. And that is going to create this brand new company's workspace, which lets us have templates, groups, team members, analytics, and all aside from a different workspace. Now, let me jump back to my original workspace to show you how it works, okay? Now, first thing I wanna show you is team members. You have two options. First of all, you're the owner, and then you have the option to have managers, and team members. Let me show you how that is going to work before I show you how groups and templates works and the signatures, right? So right now, here's a profile. This person is only a team member. They are only given access to a particular signature that was created for them. Here we go. And this is a signature that they can modify. So they can't modify the email, but they can change these details, change the image and all of that. They do not have access to a different workspace. They do not have access to advanced features or signatures for someone else. But if I want to convert this particular person into a manager, let's go ahead and change the role. Let's go ahead and update over here. Here we go. I am now a manager on the workspace, okay? That means that I now can view all the templates here. I can view the groups. I can view the team members. I can create teammates. I can import teammates. I can view analytics for the overall signatures created. And it gives me full access to this workspace, okay? That means I am not on the company C workspace. It's this particular workspace that I'm giving access to. So that gives you different capabilities for your own needs. Either you wanna have some managers that helps you out with signatures, maybe you have a virtual assistant, or maybe you just resold this to a company and they'll take care of their own signatures on that section. So they got access to 10, 100 signatures. They can modify it there, right? That's the beauty about teammates. Now, when it comes to the actual actual signatures, they have a lot of beautiful templates that you can start using right now. Now, the idea is to create signatures first so you can start using them in templates. I'll just say testing for this one and I'm gonna create it. And they have several templates available. You got minimal, you got creative, you got formal, text only, and a whole bunch more. Now you can go through these and select the ones that <clears throat> Now you can go through these and select the one that you like the most, the distribution, the colors, et cetera, but all of this can be modifiable, all right? So I like this one that has a banner. Here we go, this one. I'm gonna use this template. Now I have a bunch of settings for this particular signature. Now, one of the beauties about this is that we can create these signatures and templates to automatically add all this information when we add the team members. So it's a really great feature that I like about Sync Signature, right? So for settings, all right, we can change the image. So I'll add my own right now. Here we go, I'll go select it. We have different selections for sizes or I can go ahead and just resize it here. I'll hit okay. And it adds my image here really easily. Here we go, my image is now loaded and I have several options like profile picture width, profile picture radius in case I want to round it off. The information that's here in this case, let me add my name really quickly. And all these details can be modified. If you remove something, 
it'll just disappear and keep it nice and tight, right? Business information, I can add my own logo, keep that size. And now it's added there. And again, we got the settings for that company name, for example, SaaS Master. And I'm creating the signature really easily right here, right? There's also design options. So for example, in design, you got your fonts, your theme colors, and all these available settings. I really don't want to get too much into this because what I want to focus on, focus on is on the agency features. But you get the idea that you have every single feature available to modify your signature, including banners. So you can, you can create buttons. So I'll just say contact and it just creates a button there. If I remove this, it just goes away. There's a call to action banner, which I can change the image right here. And they also have templates available here that we can start using right now. So whatever's going on, new year is coming. So I can use it like this or Merry Christmas. I'll go ahead and apply it. Let's change the width. So it stays with the signature Add some border radius. And there's also social banners. So if I want to use these, I'll just type something really quickly. So it just pops in whatever you type in goes in the signature. So it's just super easy to add all this information, right? And then you have your analytics for the signature. Let's go ahead and get the signature. Here we go. It is now created and I have the option to download the HTML, copy signature or send to signature, which I'll show you in a bit how to implement. So let's go back and we have our signature right here. This is the one that we've just created. And the first thing we need to do is create a template. So in templates, I'll just create one right now really quickly. And I'll say that this is for accounting and I'm going to import from one of my signatures or I can start from scratch. In this case, I'll use the one that I've just created now for testing purposes. I have the option to modify settings, enable or disable certain settings here. I'll just save the template right now. Here we go. It's the accounting one and I have options to rename, duplicate and delete. Now I want to create a group and in groups, we decide how we want to define our groups. In this case, I'll do it as the company area. So I got marketing, accounting, and I decide, for example, for sales. In this case, I'll create a, a brand new one here and I'll say sales. And I'll grab the one that I've just created and I named it accounting, but that's fine. All right. I'll use that one. Here it is. I'm going to jump in here. And this is the signature that's going to be used for anyone in the sales group. All right. Now I decide what team members are going to be added here. Now, remember team members are over here. We can bulk add them. We can manually add them. And it's just super easy. All right. So in this case, I'm going to assign the signature to one of my team members and I'm going to assign it to this one. So I'm going to add my team member here. Here we go. And automatically with the details from this particular signature, I'm able to view them. So if I go to edit in this pencil button and it's going to automatically add the details from when that team member was created automatically to the email signature. So I don't need to manually create each one of these afterwards. All right. But if I need to edit any of these aspects, I can do so here. I can edit the profile image, the name, position, phone number, the department, etc. all from here. Right. And I'm able to copy the signature to start using it really easily. All right. Now that's for the groups. Now, remember, I told you there's a neat feature that automatically updates the signatures for everyone in that section. That is possible. All right. Let me show you. For example, let's just say that in the accounting section, for example, here's a banner, right? Now, let's just say that Christmas is over, the new year is over, and I need to use a banner for something else. All right. So, the signature tem template that I'm using is this one. So I'll go to my templates. I'll go to this signature. That's the one that I'm using right now. And I am going to change the call to action. So remember, this is going on right now. Here's the call to action banner. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to change it to something else uh, or I can upload an image, but I'll say happy holidays for this. I'll apply it, save template. And here we go. The template has now been updated. If I go back to groups into accounting, the template is now uploaded. So that means that if I have a hundred signatures in the accounting area group, they're going to automatically update on every single one of them with that new banner. So if you have a black Friday promotion, if you have a promotion for new years for something like that, it's going to automatically update the banner in every single one of these signatures. Now there's also the option to send the signature or you can send an invite, right? So you get all those features available in the agency plan. Now, when it comes to team members, like I said, you can add these team members manually here with the details here. And when you create that signature and add them to that group, it'll automatically fill out the fields. All right. And you can also import team members with a CSV. So that means that if you have a huge company, you can just bulk upload them here. And there's also the option to sync with Google, which will automatically bring those from your Google to here. So several options available. And like you saw before, we can select the role that they'll be implementing in that workspace. 
and there's also options to edit the details from here if you need to change them you also have the option to delete it and you have the option to send signature and send invite so all of these features will be available in the agency plan so definitely take advantage of it right now when it comes to just using signatures i love their templates they're super modern super easy to use super easy to customize so it's definitely a great deal to grab so check it out sync signature i will be leaving the link in the description if you want to check it out and that's a wrap